Danny, two-part question here. A, where did you guys feel that you were uh, once all of this happened? Meaning that did you guys feel that, you know, you were the favorites and you deserved to be the favorites uh, to win it all? And number two, and more importantly, anytime you think about the Lakers, uh, you think about LeBron James and you think about his leadership. And obviously LeBron James is the kind of person that he's preparing every day to be back. So when the, t when the bell rings and it's time to return, he's going to be ready. I'd like to know what kind of things, what kind of words of wisdom he's imparted on you guys. Um, we felt we were pretty close to where we wanted to be. Still not at our full potential, but probably about 80 to 85. We had a great weekend before uh, we played Brooklyn where uh, they played a tough game and they beat us in a close one. Uh, but we, we had a good stretch uh, before this all happened, and we were rolling in the right direction. And so we feel like we were at like 80, 85% of where we wanted to be. And uh, so obviously, Bron has been taking the steps he he felt was necessary to, to put us in that direction and himself. Um, obviously, him, him and AD pushing each other, working together. Uh, but they had gotten us to a point where, you know, we were in a good position you know, before playoffs started uh, coming around. Danny, um, since we're talking basketball, we haven't had a chance to talk to you since you've been on the Lakers, and I haven't had a chance to ask you this question. You won titles with Kawhi in San Antonio and in Toronto. Now you're playing with LeBron James. They're different kinds of players. What's the difference in playing with both those guys? Two very great players, man. Um, a lot of similarities and some differences, uh, but they're extremely serious about their game, their work of their body of art, how to take care of their bodies um, and lead their team. Obviously, uh, Kawhi is not as vocal as Bron has been over the years, but uh, you could tell last year he started picking it up a lot more, and this year he's a lot more vocal than he was ever, and um, he's starting to learn that. But um, on the, on the court-wise, Bron is probably more of a facilitator. Kawhi is probably more of a, you know, a, attack offensive you know dissecting the defensive type of player say Bron is the same way and um they're both you know very good defenders when when they turn it on they can lock down some guys they can change the game and impact the game on both ends of the floor Danny we'd all love to see an LA on LA a Western Conference Finals and hopefully everything resumes tell me this how obviously you were his teammate and now you would be going up against him how do you stop Kawhi Leonard? <laughs> With all great players, um, you can just hope to limit them as best you can. Um, there's a reason why they still score at a high clip and efficiently, even though you know what they're going to do. Um, you just try your best to limit that, uh, contest it, and hopefully they miss and have an off night. Uh, but, you know, Kawhi is a great player, and you know what he's going to do, just like other great players and other All-Stars. Um, you try to limit that, but at the same time, he's going to get to his spots, and you're probably not going to stop it. Um, you can con probably contain it, though. But we also know a motivated LeBron James is something to mess with, too, and, and uh, you've certainly been vocal about that as well, that that's equally as tough to stop. Danny, stay safe. Thank you so much for being with us here, making some time, and we hope to see you back on the court soon. Thank you, guys. You guys stay Thanks safe. Thanks a lot, well. see you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.